Aaron Swartz was born on November 8, 1986 in Chicago, Illinois. From an early age, he showed an interest in computers and programming, teaching himself to code by the age of 13. At the age of 14, he co-authored the RSS 1.0 specification, a format used for sharing web content. In 2004, Swartz enrolled at Stanford University, but dropped out after just one year to focus on his work in the tech industry. Swartz's work on the RSS standard was just the beginning of his involvement in the open access movement. He went on to co-found Creative Commons, a non-profit organization that provides free legal tools for creators to share their work online. This organization has been instrumental in promoting a culture of openness and collaboration on the web. In 2005, Swartz became a co-founder of Reddit, a social news website that allowed users to vote on and discuss content from around the web. Reddit quickly became one of the most popular sites on the internet, and helped to usher in a new era of social media and online community building. Swartz was also deeply committed to the cause of internet freedom, and worked tirelessly to protect free speech and the open exchange of ideas online. He was a vocal critic of the Stop Online Piracy Act, SOPA, and the Protect IP Act, PIPA, two pieces of legislation that threatened to stifle online innovation and creativity. In 2013, Swartz supposedly died from suicide after being indicted on charges of computer fraud and abuse, however, many people believe the conspiracy that he was murdered by the government, including his family. Either way, his death was a devastating loss to the tech community and to the cause of internet freedom. In the wake of his passing, many have worked to carry on his legacy, advocating for greater openness and transparency in government and for the protection of free speech online. Aaron Swartz's legacy continues to be felt throughout the tech world and beyond. His work on the RSS standard and his role in co-founding Creative Commons helped to pave the way for a more open and collaborative web. His advocacy for internet freedom and his opposition to censorship and government surveillance continue to inspire activists and advocates around the world. Although he co-founded Reddit, the other co-founders ignores his existence, and erased his name from its history. It is unclear why but it's likely because of his fight for internet freedom, which is what the others don't want. Sadly for those people, Aaron will never be forgotten.